Hello everybody, Crown Dog here. I wanted to talk today about the Alabama uh, LSU game that took place uh, last night. Awesome game. Uh, very, very uh, good game. Well played on both sides, I think. Um, the, you know, just the uh, the intensity of the game was, was just amazing. And, uh, you know, I look forward to more games like that. A lot of games that Alabama's had this year haven't been, you know, that intense. We, you know, really get ahead uh, of the other team and then we just kind of stay there. So this was really a good game, uh, in my opinion, and I hope we do I have more games like this as well. Um, you know, the last quarter uh, was really um, amazing, I think. Uh, you know, Zach McMurray getting sacked five times in a row, that's just really unheard of. Uh, and I think, you know, toward the end there, he was he was really getting hurt. So I hope, I hope he's okay. I hope he's not, you know, doesn't have any serious injuries that are going to uh, impact his football career. So, um, but, you know, that, I've never seen someone get sacked five times in a row ever in any game. So that was really a shocker for me. Um, there was also that targeting, or which I call targeting. Um, I, I still don't know why the uh, the refs or the judges or whoever didn't call that, that penalty. That was an obvious targeting foul. Uh, they should have ejected him from the game. And I know, you know, all the previous targeting calls they called in other games, um, you know, were, were kind of questionable. But this one was clear. I mean, you could, I mean, the, the, the play was over. He was sitting there, and the guy just comes in and just, you know, bulldozes him. But um, in my opinion, that should have been called as targeting, and the player should have been ejected. Um, and then um, Yeldon had a big night, I think, and uh, so that that's good to get, get some exposure. Um, but all in all, you know, Alabama did a really good, really good job, uh, especially in the second half. But, you know, final score, 38-17. And then the second half, we come back, you know, and just, you know, do what we do. We we won. That's what we do. So, um, really pleased with the with the game, the outcome of the game. Uh, looking forward to Mississippi State. I think it is uh, this coming weekend. Um, haven't done a whole lot of research on them, how they're doing this year, but um, should be should be a good game. I don't think we're having any trouble there. I may be wrong, but I don't think so. And then Chattanooga, really. Um, and then finally, Auburn. Really looking forward to the Auburn game. That game uh, is really going to be a good game, I think. It, you know, both teams, Auburn is doing pretty good this year, and, you know, Alabama is doing really good. Uh, they've had some, some, like with LSU last night, they had a little struggle, but, you know, we overcame. We, we did what we do, and and uh, so I, I don't think it's going to be... Um, I think we'll win, maybe... Not a blow away or anything, but uh, I think it's going to be a good game, and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, the girlfriends really um, pushing the Auburn stuff, and and uh, she's she hates Alabama. I, I, she doesn't just don't like them; she hates them. For, I don't know why, but um, anyway, it, it was fun playing with her last night. One way one, so. She's uh, she's not a good sport uh, when it comes to Alabama versus anybody. So I, I, I can imagine when when Alabama plays Auburn, <clears throat> it's going to be, uh, be an interesting night, to say the least. Thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And have a great day. Roll Tide!